First video in a while, but it's a pretty good video here as I'm talking about the HTC 10. So I just got back, literally just got back from New York City where HTC held an event for the new 10. Well, the HTC 10, there's no letter in front of it, but um, it's been a, been a really cool event. They had a lot of good things and a lot of good things to show up out with the HTC 10. And I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I've seen so far and sort of give you my initial impressions about it. So with HTC 10, the first thing you notice about the device is that it has a, that same nice metal design that you really like and you've gotten familiar with HTC but it's uh, tweaked just a little bit differently. You see it has a little bit more sort of kind of kind of square and blocky edges and has chamfer edges that are really detailed out, a little bit shinier than the rest of the metal on the back of the phone. And it actually gives a better grip in the hand when you kind of pick it up. It gives you a better, better feeling that you have and it's not gonna slip out of your hand. If you can compare it to the uh, M M9 of last year, you can kind of see that the M9 had that nice curved back and it's very smooth and it can easily slip out of your hands where the M10 doesn't have that. So I think it's a pretty good improvement and pretty noticeable difference there between the two of them. And that's not just the only difference. We do have now a 5.2 inch quad HD display. So now they bump that up, which is a really, really good thing to get that quad HD kind of join the rest of the flagship phones in that. It does come with a fingerprint sensor on the bottom that also operates as a home button, which is pretty cool. It also has a speaker grill at the bottom. Well, one of the speakers at the bottom right, right there, but it also has is a USB type C port as well too. So you're gonna be able to use quick charging. It has Qualcomm's quick charging 3.0 with it as well. The USB type C, really cool that they had added that in, into there. And it's another flagship phone that's coming with that. Pretty nice there. Now it also internally comes with a Snapdragon 820 processor, four gigabytes of RAM and 32 or 64 gigabyte storage options in either colors of uh, silver or pretty much a kind of a gunmetal black grayish color there. But what's pretty cool is that you can add additional storage with it. They have removed the micro SD card slot. You can add more storage to it up to, uh, I believe 200 gigabytes or so you can add to it, which is pretty cool, especially for those that like to listen to a lot of music and high res audio. And that takes a lot of storage. So you're gonna need all that 200 gigabytes to kind of add on to it because you're gonna be able to really use your high res audio headphones on this because this does come with a 24 bit audio jack and audio DAC rather. Uh, with the phone. So you're gonna get some nice high res, high quality audio. The HTC series, especially the one series, has all been about the about giving you premium audio quality with your mobile device. And they've done a good job here with that as well too, giving you, giving you a little extra bump up there. Uh, so you can use your favorite headphones and you can listen to all your lossless audio and you're gonna get that great audio quality with it on the M10. Now, besides that, the M10 does have a couple of other big features that have changed, and it's definitely in the camera department. So the rear-facing camera is a 12 megapixel ultra pixel camera, if I'm saying that right, or well, 12 million pixels is what they kind of said in a press release. But the uh, camera has been bumped up and it's been far, much more improved. And the camera interface has also done a significant uh, upgrade as well too. It's definitely a change. So it seems like it's a lot more useful, a lot easier to kind of navigate around. As you see, I'm going through the different modes, different modes that you can kind of go between all of them here. And I actually jumped into pro mode. It does have a nice pro mode in it. And it seems like it's laid out pretty well to easily sort of navigate through to kind of pick and choose what you um, what you need and what you want to sort of tweak to get the right photo the way you sort of want it, which is always a nice um, welcoming thing to have. And they seem like the overall interface is a little bit nicer as well too, kind of from what I see. It does shoot 4K video as well too, so you'll be able to get Ultra HD along with that. The front facing camera's also been improved. That's also a front facing camera that's, uh, they call it an ultra selfie camera five megapixels and has OIS. The rear facing camera also has OIS, but the front facing camera has this as well too. And this is kind of the first of its kind to have optical image stabilization inside of it. So that should produce some high quality selfies to go along with that. So um, I'm pretty interested to see how well that's gonna work out, um, especially the selfie people out there are probably gonna love it. I'm not the biggest selfie person, but I can see some people really seeing that and like, yeah. I want that, I want that definitely on my front facing camera. So as far as software goes, it is running Android 6.0 with HTC Sense UI on top of it. And what's really interesting about Sense UI, they actually have some sort of customized freestyle themes is what they call them, that sort of kind of let you kind of put anything you want on the screen, kind of design widgets and sort of logos anywhere you want.
out. They have like one that was like an all cat theme. As you can see here, interesting. Um, especially if you're a cat person, you'll probably like that. But there is a standard theme if you just wanna use something more traditional that is there. And it navigates similar to what you've been used to with Sense UI on it. It's uh, like I said, running Android 6.0. You can see in the menus and navigation, it's very similar to what you've been seeing from HTC. For, for, a, for a long time now. So runs smooth, runs fast from what I can tell right now. Snapdragon 824 gigabytes of RAM with that should keep things running relatively good with it. We'll obviously learn over time if that changes, but it seems like it's gonna be good so far. So as far as the HTC 10 is concerned, I'm really having a hard time not saying M10, but the HTC 10 is concerned. It is seeming to be a pretty complete package coming from them with some pretty cool upgrades. And I really can't wait to get my chance to review it, which I'm not gonna have to wait too long because we have a review unit in house that we're gonna spend a couple of days on. And I think it's a couple of days I'll give you sort of my initial sort of first impressions of it. And then we'll give it some time and really give it a full review a little bit later on down the road. But share your thoughts on HTC M10. Are you excited for this? device is it's what you wanted it to be maybe you were looking for a little bit more just share your thoughts comments questions all that below also be sure to subscribe to our youtube page if you haven't yet connect with us on all the social networks and links to those are in the description uh check out what's coming up soon here on bw1.com and always remember to live your tech world in high definition thanks for watching and i'm really sort of taking it back that I'm saying S7. There's been seven iterations of the Galaxy S series of smartphones. We reviewed pretty much every one that's come out and the Galaxy S7 might be the best of the bunch. It's already been touted as smartphone of the year in 2016, only four months in.